I'm Sadie Hyatt and I've lived in Jonesboro for maybe 11, 12 years. I can't remember, I can't do math that fast. <laughs> What brought you to Jonesboro? Um, my grandma did, actually, because I moved in with her. I was born in Greenville. Do you remember some of your first memories or interactions with Jonesboro? I'm going to have to say I'm pretty sure the first one was the radio show when it was called The Yarn Exchange. It was just a phone call, like, hey, do you want to do this? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah. It was a lot of fun and it was really nerve-wracking because when I started doing it, I couldn't memorize anything. So, or no, I had to memorize everything because I couldn't really read. So, my friend Miss Phyllis would stand up there with me and she'd point to the words as I said them. School certainly has its moments. Uh, it entirely depends on who you're hanging around. That makes sense, yeah. Um, have you had a favorite teacher? Yes. He was my 7th and 8th grade science teacher and his name is Mr. Moore. He was great. 7th homeroom was probably my favorite homeroom or one of them because he's not afraid to joke around with you. Like he's one of the really cool teachers who you could say the weirdest thing and he will just stare at you and then crack up. It's the best. I made a document of this, actually, so whenever he picked up the phone, he would always start with something new. Like one time it was, Mr. Moore's room, land of palm trees, sunshine, and happiness, how can I help you? <laughs> and I actually have the um, document on my phone, but any time he picked up a phone call, I'd quickly open my Chromebook and go to the dog and just type whatever he said. I actually sent him the document. <laughs> like, I shared it with him, and I think he viewed the document frequently. I love science. Okay. Science was arguably my best class. <laughs> I guess I really enjoy all the experiments we get to do, because we'd have, like, actual lab kits, and we'd get to play around with chemicals sometimes and stuff. So it was a lot of fun. And a common occurrence was, please don't hurt yourself. And then like two minutes later, Mr. Moore, I need a band-aid. <laughs> it was never me though. The time I was grateful uh, to be living in Jonesboro, I'm going to have to say is really whenever the Methodist church by the old courthouse does stuff. Because it's usually a lot of fun. Or have you thought about moving away from Jonesboro? You don't, you know. Millions of times. <laughs> so many times. Because my brain's just like, you're used to this. It's not as pretty anymore. Go somewhere else. If given the opportunity, I'd like to go to Canada or Germany or somewhere like that because I think it'd be a fun experience. And in all honesty, if I were to have to stay in the United States, I would go to New Orleans because I want jambalaya. There's a lot of good people and when you start making a friendship with some of the people if you put the effort into it and put the effort into seeing them whether it's a lot or you see them occasionally then the friendship could last you a lifetime. I hope that a lot of the businesses might get you know a bit more business because I feel like that would really help the town a lot and I think maybe just some more diverse shops. I'm going to have to say probably another library or a place for kids to actually uh, do things. A hangout place with um, maybe a couple stores so if they just wanted to go shopping with their friends, they could. definitely out there. <laughs> we're, we're a 
little silly. We have a lot of animals. A lot of them. I could probably name six dogs spread through different houses, of course. My house just has the one pet, which is Spot, my wonderful dog. Um, my dad's house has three dogs and a cat. Um, the dogs are Bandit, Cooper, and Hiccup, and then the cat's Oreo. I usually stay at Aunt Starlene's with Spot. I'm going to Crockett. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do color guard? Yeah. Really? Do you do color yeah. guard? Have you already That's started so cool. that? Mm-hmm. We started the first with parade camp and then did the parade. Somebody from ETSU actually came to the school last year and did like made like a whole show of spinning flags and everything. And it was so much fun, so I just signed up for the thing and went to Crockett on Thursdays after school and learned more and more about flag. And then auditions came and I made it. The people are chaotic and I love them. <laughs> and I found, and I have a friend specifically who matches my energy so much that it's not even funny. Well, I have two friends like that. One of them's a band friend, and then the other one's my best friend. My mom actually jokingly adopted my best friend. <laughs> so the joke is, I have a twin brother that I'm like three, two months older than. <laughs> Definitely uh, come and visit whenever the town's decorated, because it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's the Christmas tree. Um, me and my little sister had a joke last year, where we just wanted to eat the trees that were um, decorated like candy canes. Thank you.